Eh. Oh God, are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Um, Look, this is important to me. Eh. I I haven't got a single win. I just need one. No, you're gonna try to uh, tragedy. Oh, now, it's the you? best way to do it, right? It's a much easier kill. No, no. I played myself. I played myself. Yeah. Thanks for the idea, Darn. dum dum. I'm out of here. Woo. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to something. This is Ashton Joy, Rick, Preston, Jasmine. Hello. Hello. We're playing some gang beasts. Oh Ooh. yeah. Oh, my. Uh, oh, you oh, whoa. I am, I am the wrong you color. You jiggled around a little bit there. Who's yeah. yellow? Oh, I'm yellow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Took me a bit. Let me get green. There Give me go. my redness. Oh. There we go. Okie dokie. <laughs> There needs to be a turkey costume. Some of the costumes that we have, There man. does need to be a turkey just, costume. Just the, the weird wings and, like, a fat body. Yeah, that'd be great. Weird yeah, wings. I'm trying to remember, fat is this body. episode going to come out before Thanksgiving or after? It's got to be after, I assume. Uh, Maybe. Look, I've got a feast uh, on my crap. head. Game okay. comes out on Thursdays these days. Does it come out on Thanksgiving? <gasps> Turkey Day, y'all! Gobble might. gobble! This episode it's might be coming out on God, Thanksgiving. Don't, I don't be forget! Bird. Don't forget that when you're telling everybody what you're thankful for, say you're thankful for stuff. That's right. I'm thankful for this very nice suit I've got on. I'm thankful for my cheeseburger hat. Yeah, it's not gonna be there for long, buddy. Ooh. I'm thankful that Stump is still around. Yeah. yeah. I'm thankful for these beans. Oh, beans. Oh, bean, bean can, Joe. Bean can. Oh, I wonder what bean can's preference is. Oh, we know the answer to that. <laughs> so I'm on team bean can. I'll, I'll say, I'm spoiling this. At, the, at our outro, we're going to No, talk. don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. We're talking about cans. We're, Move on. Talk about Bon Appetit. I want to talk. This whole episode is going to be about Bon Appetit and their perfect Thanksgiving. <laughs> Did you say perfect in quotes? This that's, is, what the, that's what that's their what they series call is called. Oh, okay. My hat. I'm so heavy. They called yeah. it that because they, they each one of they, they grouped up in different teams, uh -huh. and each one took an aspect of the Thanksgiving dinner. Uh -huh. so, ah, ah. There was a turkey oh, episode. There was a mashed potato. Episode, there was Ow. a cranberry sauce episode. Uh, I, I want to say their mashed potato uh, episode was probably the most controversial. Oh, I heard. Didn't they really oh. soupy, soupy potatoes? Their oh, ah. Yes. Their mashed potatoes no. were soup, y'all. That's not okay. So, so I will say, I remember as a child in the foreign land of Tejas where uh, we would go to like cafeteria style, like places. Oh, yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. Like, it's a common yes. thing down the south. They would use sure. the dehydrated uh, buffets. potato, right? Yeah, a buff, like a buffet kind of yeah. deal. Like a, like a like a golden corral. corral. Yeah. Or a sizzler. Yeah, and so there was a local one that we would go to that was kind of like a family tradition to go there. Anyway, I remember their potatoes. A, first place I'd ever been to that had, uh, they, put, they put pepper on their potatoes. Mm -hmm. But B, I remember they definitely had very, like, runny, runny mashed potatoes. Mashed now, okay. it was still delicious. No, but it was yeah. definitely a different texture. And that was not I, what I'm going nope. for, you know? I'm sure that Bon Appetit's uh, mashed potatoes are... Oh, they're oh gosh, they're probably I, delicious. I'm sure they're Taste great. Taste-wise, like, I'm sure it's fine. They, oh, they yeah. talked about adding creme fraiche and all this stuff yeah. to it, and I'm sure it's rich. And, and the reason it's runny is because of all the fat that's in it, bro. And they use a ricer, and there's a whole bunch oh, of things nice. that I have against. Yeah, rice uh, potatoes. Go for I it. I hate but rice potatoes. Here's my oh thing. my god! Before even getting to the consistency, they had this big long debate about: Do you like your potatoes during Thanksgiving to be? Are you stuck? I'm stuck. He's, he's stuck with oh, the hair strips. Thank you. Okay. Thank do you. you like your potatoes for Thanksgiving to be creamy or to be god, crunchy? Crunchy? Wait, what? There is a middle ground between those two questions. <laughs> crunchy? It should be I'm chunky in between crunchy. I'm sorry. As soon as potatoes become crunchy, they are either a casserole. Or they are French fries. I think fries, they're talking right? about potato chips. Right? Yeah, like. So what they landed on was this soup of potato <laughs> with like croutons essentially on the top, like all these fried little crispy oh, bits um, <laughs> that they added to the top. Yeah. But my thing is like, there was a, I'm not gonna say surprising, but there was like 20% that were like, oh yeah, I want crunchy potatoes for my Thanksgiving potato. What is, what is happening in this world? I don't fancy it myself a great be... cook, but I make damn fine mashed potatoes, and I've never made them runny or crunchy. It must crunchy, be a Northeast thing. It must be, and also, crunchy all... means you just aren't done making them yet. That just means you haven't fully boiled well, them yet. I, I'm thinking that like maybe they are frying them, or yes. maybe they are like roasting them. I mean, let's be real, fried mashed potato sounds it's Sounds good, good, but then but you're moving into a territory Fried that, like I said, tater <laughs> tots. Yeah, like you're you're moving into like casserole territory. You're moving into it, like it looked like a casserole yeah. when they were done. They and literally like put like French onions sure. and breadcrumbs on top of it, so that when you're eating it, you're getting like a little yeah. bit of crunch. And I'll say like that sounds great. Like it sounds delicious. I wouldn't call those mashed potatoes. Or no, I'd no. call it like, a, a potato casserole. casserole or something. Yes. Like mashed potatoes. I mean, 
It's a very small definition. But then again, they're the food people. We're sitting here arguing about like Bon Appetit. It's like they kind of are experts, aren't they? No, Apparently I, not. I, no, Apparently I, don't hire anybody I, these days. I, I, I agree. Like, and, and here's my other thing. Oh, my God. Oh. Here, I think Rick, that any one of Rick, their perfect help, dishes help on its own, I'm sure, is delicious. Each one of their Trying dishes was so rich that I wouldn't want to consume all of them hey. together in one huge hey, meal. You know? Like part oh, of God, no! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I pulled your butt! I pulled your butt! You uh, just shut up. The thing I'm amazed it. you kept the hat on the whole I time. I know! So anyway, you were saying... I, just, I feel like all of their dishes are just very rich, and so yeah, you wouldn't yes. want to eat all of them together. Mm, yeah. um, you sort of want mashed potatoes. I'm not saying the mashed potatoes need to be plain, but it's sort of, it's your base. You know? oh, and I, I will well, say, and also, I, I have very... The potatoes are the most important part of the meal they are, to me. And they, the potatoes need to go on everything. Yeah. You need to put some yeah. potatoes on your turkey. Yeah. And if it's soupy, it's not going to sit on the turkey. Exactly. Well, I mean, if it's soupy Jesse, and no, the gravy Jesse, no. is on there, you're going to get That's, soupy gravy potatoes. That's true. How are you going to put potato, How are you gonna put soupy gravy on soupy potatoes? That's no, not no. going to happen. My potatoes are mashed, but with little chunks. <laughs> no, I just fell. Um, am I dead? You hit me. I was um, holding on to the side and you fell and hit Ash, me, I think. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, someone did. I Either think I Ash might... fell or I did. Wait, oh. someone's falling. Someone's falling. Okay, there's another one. Who else is alive? Um, I think Rick's alive. I I don't know where. There you go. There, that was Rick. There's, there's I, 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 you let go. <laughs> I saw your hands, Rick. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. wait, where, yeah. where am I? You, 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 you <laughs> fell. You, you can did see I? you. I yeah, never yeah. saw so me actually fall. You fell when the, when the train was in front. And so then by the time it started zooming away, you were already off screen. Okay. You, there was a moment there for like a split second where like your head came into frame as you were oh, running to try and catch just up. Just one frame. <laughs> Y'all, can we talk about stuffing? Sure. I love stuffing. Stuffing's delicious, yeah. All right. So cornbread or like regular sourdough? Cornbread. 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 Uh, olive bread and cornbread so together. So me, me and my family, we like to have the cornbread and peasant bread mix. Okay. Peasant I mean, I, I, I can do that. I can but do that. But cornbread is still like a sentence. Yeah. Is peasant bread a common thing? That's a great Pe name for it. Peasant, peasant bread, bread is just sort of like your normal yeah. French loaf, you know? Peasants. Yeah. yeah. Is it called that because all French are peasants? Because that's me. It's like it's like, it a, it's a, it's like a loaf that's not a sourdough. Yeah. You know, maybe you don't, it was a loaf created during that revolution, like just before. Well, I, I mean, I, I think, yeah, it's a simple bread loaf. Yeah. Exactly. Right? It's the kind of thing that you can throw together, <laughs> right? I'm oh, done. well, you think you can just dance like that, huh? I'm not dancing. I'm I saw scooting. you. I, I saw I you. Like no, I'm doing the proper dance. I'm doing the proper dance. No, my head! My head! Gonna scoop. I'm Look at that guy scoop. doing the burger dance. The See, I like my stuffing do, 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 made with uh, half cornbread, half doing like olive scoop. loaf. I can't move doing that. And so, at what point do you guys Is introduce fried do, do, do. rice to your stuffing? Never. Uh, excuse me, what? So that was Bon Appetit's finale to their stuffing. Okay, so look, look, I'm, I'll say this. No! I'm not gonna be a humbug traditionalist and say you can't experiment, and that does sound like an interesting thing to do. Fried rice, texture, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, this I'm, is not terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical. But it definitely doesn't sound like any stuffing I've ever had and before. To give them credit, they did <laughs> make a normal stuffing, and uh, they were like, just, this is something we've been experimenting yeah, okay. with. And give we, it a try. And yeah. we love it. Yeah. Um, that's fine, because but, with the potatoes, what it sounded like is they were like, no, this is the traditional potato right. that nobody and, has right. heard of. And right. so the one thing that I, uh, I'd say that they're, this series, this Bon Appetit Perfect Thanksgiving series, is super interesting to watch, especially the early episodes, because in the potato episode, for example, they legitimately try out like 20 different kinds of potatoes <laughs> to find the perfect uh -huh. potato for potato to make What's the best one? Soup. Russet? I think it was literally just called butter potatoes. What? Or Makes maybe sense. maybe butter ball potatoes. Makes sense. Um, how and come I cannot land a punch to save my life anymore? Because I have anymore? the power of burgies. And they ro ah! they roasted their potatoes wow, and then peeled them rather than boiled them. Got up so them. fast. Roasted and peeled? Roasted and peeled rather than so boiled. So roasted and then peeled. That sounds like Ro a lot yeah. of work. Wow, yeah, that does sound like a lot they, of work. They peeled it as they was oh. hot. They had to hold gloves. Uh, no, <laughs> Good sounds, God! That sounds like it's, it tastes amazing, but... <laughs> no! That's too much I effort. hate this level sometimes. It's so hard to throw people off the edge. You always go away. No, no. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Head please, Head please button. go. Huh? Oh God, are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Um, Look, this is important to me. I, I haven't got a single win. I just need one. No, oh, you're gonna try a different uh, strategy oh, now. Oh, it's the you? best way to do it, right? It's a much easier kill. No, no. I played myself. I played myself. Yeah. Thanks for the idea, Garch. dum dum. I'm out of here. Woo. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. Do you see? I knocked you out like. <laughs> Eight times. Yeah. Tell me about the it. edge. Ugh. Well, gosh, got my win. Ugh. I will say I like Brad. 
for Bud Turkey. Update. Hashtag not a sponsor. I just feel like I need to throw that in there now because we've talked about them the entire yes. episode. I Obviously, know. because we've We're been talking right. mad smack. I, I like how he cooked his bird, but I also like that he's basically our age. He's our age? They're all yeah. like our age, oh, yeah, yeah. basically. Well, yeah, yeah. Not, they're, some of them are younger, but Brad, sure, I always sure. thought, was older, but he's actually our age. No, no, he looks, yeah. Like, yeah. looks like our yeah. age. And I'll say that, like, the, that series, like I said about the potatoes, the turkey episode, they cooked like three different kinds of turkeys, and they cooked yeah. them like five different ways. It was very interesting. Um, it makes me want to try cooking my Were turkey. Were there any different. bizarre turkeys? Yes, we so, all learned about heirloom turkeys. They, yeah, they used like essentially like a butter ball, and then they used like a organic, like what we would get from all the right, seasons. Rick, fight. <laughs> And then they bought like this three hundred dollar like heritage that still had like some of its quills still under the skin and Weird. stuff. It's an old turkey. Um, it's an old bird. And apparently the heritage <laughs> birds like they dr they dry age the bird, bird sort of. So it's like it's got more funk to it sort of. <laughs> more funk. Exactly. Yeah, like, I mean yeah, dry aging. It yeah. Brings the funk. I've never heard about doing that with a bird. Right. More funk to the chunks. That scares um, me a little bit. But just 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 pack that salmonella like even they were like, you know, the heritage we're is just too much die. and it's annoying having to remove we're the both quills. Gonna die. Um, you don't know that. So they just went for the middle of the line um, <laughs> and they the amount of button mashing by the end, they right? just roasted the turkey normally. Oh, God. But even they were like deep frying is the most delicious method that they tried. Just don't. Oh, do heck it. yeah. Of course. No! Oh, deep thank frying. you. That <laughs> was the most powerful throw I've seen <laughs> in a while. <laughs> Get me out of here. Uh, anyways, we have very strong opinions. About we do. Yeah, clearly. There's there's like a strict way to do certain like Thanksgiving dishes, and if you do them the other way, then you are just a terrorist. I want to. Uh, excuse me. What did you just say? <laughs> I, I, I want to advocate getting rid of the turkey, bring it in the ham, all right? I mean, yeah. you can. That's fair. Rick, wow. you've always had pretty strong opinions about not loving turkey. I have, but you know what? Ham's good. Ham's good all the time. <laughs> Hard to mess up a ham. Uh, but there are plenty of people that could really mess up a turkey. I want you to guess what my family eats for Thanksgiving. Uh, Beef. Steak. Beef. Yeah. Prime rib. <laughs> I just, I killed myself. Good boy. Trying Anybody's game. That. Anybody's game. Uh, both of my wins I have totally deserved. Anybody's game. Anybody's. <laughs> um, that's no, because I, Jasmine will get. I was gonna say, yeah, knowing right Jazzy, now. like that's definitely doable. Yeah. Fight. All right, so pumpkin Fight. pie. I love pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Great. What about it? Oh, I, I saw you get angry that they didn't even use a pumpkin ever. Apparently, they don't, right? They just. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> I, I was I was mad that they like they tested out twenty different kinds yep. of potatoes. Yep. They tested out like five different kinds of turkeys. They only used can canned, canned pumpkin. pumpkin. And I mean, I think it's part of, again, part of that is there. I think whoa, there's a uh, a bit of a contingent right of people who are like that's the best way. It's, yeah. Right. Just like with the can of uh, <laughs> cranberry sauce. cranberry sauce. It's yeah. certainly so. the most easiest. No, well, the best I, way is I, restroom, I, from what I've because I feel like I used to watch you know a lot of Food Network. And I feel like I remember hearing all the time from chefs. Woo. They're like, there's no point in making your own cranberry sauce. The canned stuff is the best. No. Like, from chefs. Because like when you guys were all like, no, you don't do it that way. I was like, oh, wow. I thought it was known that that's supposed to be the best way. No. Don't waste your time. I, I kind of don't feel the same way. Yeah. And I, I would almost agree with them if it were difficult to make sure. uh, cranberry sauce. But it's literally put cranberries in water, add a little bit of sugar, you got cranberry sauce. Yeah. It's that easy. Well, just, and just boil and reduce it. All right, Rick, you gotta get in this fight. I'm not, I'm, I'm, we gotta. I let, I'm letting you guys do it yeah, first. so you can be at the end. I wanna what fight you. What do you, you want to try to fight me? Then I'll fight All you. All right, I'm trying to fight you. All right, bring it on, turkey. Goodness. There you go. Happy? No you're, one gets to sit on the ground now. This is, this is a triple threat match. <laughs> um, but like roasted pumpkins is easy. You cut a pumpkin sure. in half, scoop out all the seeds. A little sugar pumpkin. Yeah, a little, a little has, one. Has a little to be a one. Sugar has, pumpkin. You do not want to use a jack o' lantern no. pumpkin because those things are really nasty. They're, they just don't have any flavor. They're not made for uh, it. They're not grown for it. You roast it. And once it's soft, you scoop it out, blend it, yeah. and it immediately no, 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 no. is available to cook. Uh, I mean, you can do a thing where you no! like, uh, that was an strain awful. it with a cheesecloth to get rid of all the water content. Mm -hmm. It's just pure pumpkin. But it tastes so much better. Yeah. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I mean, I think... Oh, God, no! I, I don't know that I've compared the two before. Well, I, I know, I know that Sarah has made it, it with the... Uh, the pumpkins, mm -hmm. uh, with the sugar pie pumpkins, and I know I've eaten canned pumpkin pie. Honestly, I can't tell you the difference. Well, I can't tell you the difference. I will well, say, I think pump the canned pumpkins are actually mostly just squash. Yeah. Well, no, I mean like, but so like oh, sugar. Oh, pie, oh, I think oh, no, I believe no, a sugar. No. 
<laughs> told you guys to get it. Yep. Um, now it's anybody's game. I mean, a sugar pie pumpkin is a squash. It and is. a pumpkin is a squash. It like, is. that's the bigger thing. I know, but They're it's all gourds. Like... I, I think that the roasted flavor adds a lot to it. Sure. But you're not going to sure. can. Sure. But, yeah. I, but I, again, when you talk about the work to reward ratio. Right. Is it something that is worth spending the time versus where you could spend that time on a different dish? And I think that's where the cranberry thing comes from. I also think that, like, um, the other part of it is, like, nostalgia, right? Because I, I, a nostalgia, lot of people grew up with that canned like, stuff. They want to have that jello yeah, texture exactly, to the cranberry exactly. sauce. Because it's yeah. supposed to be a sauce. Oh, uh, I survived. Oh, oh! Let me ask you guys this. Ah. This is diverging. I'm going to stop bashing on Bon Appetit for a minute. Um, Never I, stop. Bashing. Can you stop? Won't stop. Any of you guys, your family was. <gasps> oh, God. oh, God. I said, oh, God. What's happening? Was, oh God. Did marshmallows ever play an element to no. casserole yes. in any oh, yes. aspect? Sweet potato. No. Sweet potato pie. Oh, no. God. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> well Jazz of the comeback. on the Thanksgiving Day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, my family has never done any sweet mashed potatoes. Yeah, man, we always did the, there's sweet potato pie with a layer of uh, melted ma uh, marshmallows so on it. Yeah. I always time. knew that that was a thing. I didn't experience yeah. that until our friend Moose cooked us a yeah. Friendsgiving. Yeah. Last year, uh, yeah. And it's dope. It was also, the, the French onion the French, casserole. Yeah, with the like, had cream of mushroom mm. and green beans. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That See, those are staples, and it's because... Uh, Moose is from the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. got those yeah. Midwest See, families. My That's, staple yeah. was this very redneck. Take a bunch of saltines, add eggs and cream corn. Yes, Jasmine, and it's delicious. I cannot tell you how good it is. Her even family, though it sounds so bad. Her family always called it corn pudding. I had never heard of it before. I, you know, me and Jasmine started dating, and it's delicious. <laughs> it's it sounds disgusting, and I guess that's why I kind of like, you know, like out here. Ash. Put my nose up at a Bon Appetit because to me. Thanksgiving isn't about fancy food. It's about just like it's about your food. It's about like yeah. family, yeah. just like garbage food, pretty yeah. much. You know, uh, tradition, and, and so it's like you make the foods that your grandma made. Like, yeah, whatever kind of weird gross up. stuff grandma was into. You right. know, but like the idea of like having like a, you know, like the, the crackers yeah. and the eggs and the cream fresh. And yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah, it sounds gross, but it works. It's just Get a pile of gross that turns Leave into delicious. Get him out of here. Get out of here, Emmett Brown. Oh, oh, ah! oh. Um. So y'all, y'all have had my no. jalapeno corn souffle. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's good. So like, and that, it just, it's butter and jalapenos. How am I down so long? Oh Southwest God. stuff. And it just ends up being like goopy cornbread Jasmine? that you can eat. Right. <laughs> you know, it's delicious. Jasmine? No one else Stay makes that in get the me. world. It's like a secret family oh recipe. I'm gonna jump on this. Yes, please, let me up. It's delicious. Um. Anyways, that's all I look forward anybody? to. Anybody? It's a jalapeno corn Anybody? Supply. Just keep dunking on it. Just keep dunking just, on it. Yeah, yeah. Th throw a dodger at me, please. I would like to get up now. There's some gravity to that. Dodger. Oh, God. Nope. I'm, I'm down. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> you start, what? You're trying to say that there's not normally gravity to dodgers? There was some like extra gravity to well, no, that, that No, that was what that, that was, was. a black hole dodger? No, that was, was a quid, extra mass. that was a quid pro quo. You see, you asked for a dodger and you got it, but yep. the in return, you had to fall because yep. that's what Jazzy wanted. That was a quid pro quo. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm not even gonna dig into that one. <laughs> it's a this for that. Oh, anyway, I'll I'll dig into some of this uh, roasted Dodger oh, we're having on this fine Thanksgiving. Ooh, Ooh. gonna right. take little, this one over raw. here. Come wait, on. Wait, uh. wait, I got a bigger one. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh, too many Dodgers. No, I was <laughs> holding one. Yeah. The other one hit me in my hand. Decided to transfer to the oh, other one. You got Jazzy, Jazzy can't let a Dodger fall. All yeah, right. No. Jazzy sees a Dodger fall, and Jazzy's like, "No, no Dodger! Do no Dodger left behind." No, yeah. Why did yeah. it transfer? <laughs> <laughs> it literally transferred. It did. I like, just like your hand suddenly was holding it. It just. <laughs> I had one Dodger. Yeah. The other one, I have two Dodgers. Oh, uh, that punch! So every now and can I quickly talk about yeah. um, the new uh, the toys that made us? Yes. Watch that yet? Yes, it's so good. I love uh, that. Show. I was watching the the episode with the uh, Power Rangers. Oh, it's so interesting. And it's incredible the yeah. story of Power Rangers, yes. how it started, all this other stuff. But what's crazy <laughs> to me so on, man. is what that a genius. it was doing so well, and Disney's like, we need a boy market because we obviously have like this princess market, right? Uh -huh. So what they ended up doing is they asked Sabon. Whoa, and they bought man. the Give entire Fox Kids Network, I think, mm -hmm. for like 60 million, or I can't remember how much it was. Yeah. They actually didn't make any profit from it. No, they were it ending. so badly. <laughs> there we go. 
they actually, um, when they bought it, it was doing so badly that they were trying to sell it, and the only person that was willing to buy it was Saban. Again. Saban. So he so, basically made like fifty-six million dollars off of this I think deal. He made billions. I feel yeah, like I saw that right in yeah. a movie. Yeah. There was that happened in a movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he sold it. Did awful, and they just sold it back to him. Yep. That was like the coolest thing I've ever. And now it's back like, to making money. Oh, you know where I, I saw that? I saw it on The Simpsons. Oh, really? <laughs> when Mr. Burns did it. sold the power plant to the Germans, and then the Germans had to sell it back for like nothing. Uh, That's great. Simpsons have always done it. Yeah. Saban anyway, pulled a Mr. Burns. I want to hear about y'all's special, unique Thanksgiving dinners. Is there something that you think your family does that most families don't do? Do you do you add a cream of corn to something weird? I do. Yeah. That's it. What That's do you it. stuff your bird with? Exactly. Don't stuff That's a bird. That's a personal question. Prime, prime rib, man. <laughs> Tell me. Do you baste all or... your stuff in comments? Exactly. Do you baste or brine? Yeah. Do you stuff a ginger ale into a stocking? Mm -hmm. And did you have a happy Thanksgiving? And exactly. if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving because you're not in America celebrating American Thanksgiving, did you have a wonderful day? Exactly. And then go cook a turkey. Celebrate your family. Uh, with that. We've been stumped. I'm Natural Burger Press Jasmine. We'll catch you next time. Bye! Bye. So, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. Ooh! Turkey Day! What's your guys' opinion on canned cranberry? Uh, okay, so I am not a cranberry sauce okay, you're ingester. Uh, wow. I love seeing that little jelly can. No. You pull it out oh, and it holds. So and it's got the same. It's not called cranberry jello, it's called cranberry sauce.